Hi guys, so I'm Kira. Um, Miss Muncy has asked me to do like a short video on advice and everything for picking your uni and picking your course. So I'm going to try and make it as quick as I can. But um, I've just got a few tips. So I'm hopefully doing chemistry at uh, Manchester or Nottingham. So I've actually written it down on a post-it note so I can remember it all. But um, the first thing is actually like picking your course. So I would say there's a lot of things to take into consideration when picking your course. You want to pick something that you're good at, something that you like. And you want to look at like what jobs you want to do in the future and pick a course that like suits that because if you want to be a doctor like you can't do it without medicine or something like that so you've got to take into account what you want to do in the future also different courses differ how like um you're taught so some are really independent based so you need to be in the library or i think they're more for humanities and then things like science and um medicine you've got a lot of um contact time so that's less independent studies you're not in the library as much you're still in the library but you don't have to do loads of reading um compared to the humanities so you want to take that into account as well like do you think you can put yourself in the library and work independently or on your own for like hours um a lot of you probably already know like what you want to do so it's good to have like a small idea and if you don't know then you've got a lot of time to research and make sure you're doing something that you like and you're ready to do it. So don't worry about if you're still not completely sure what you're going to do, you've got a lot of time to like decide. So I think that's like it on picking the course because there's not many things, you've just got to make sure that you, you're you going to like it and you're going to be able to deal with it. So the next thing is picking a uni. So this is quite a big thing because you're going to be there for like three or four years. Um, so you want to make sure you like it. So I highly suggest going to the open days because I didn't go to some of them and I really regret it because you want to go so you can get a feel of like the uni, see if you like it, see if you like the students walking around, like do they look like your type of people. Um, when you're at the open days you also want to look at like the facilities they've got for your subject and just when you're walking around the city you want to see like is it your type of city, like is it big, is it small, is it, is, that, is it busy, is it not busy, is there things to do, is there cafes, is the nightlife good, just things like that because every different, um, every city is different so you want to see what one suits you and what one you prefer. A big thing for some people is like the distance away from home so you want to check the miles and how long it's going to take you by car or by train and stuff because that can be a big thing for some people. So once you've got your course you want to like go to the unis and check their modules because different unis have different modules and they've got different optional ones um, and stuff like that so you want to check them out because there's some you might prefer um, so it's good to look at that because because like the courses differ across the unis. You can just do that online so just go to their site and then go to your course and then they should have all the modules for each year there and then just compare them and see what one you prefer. Also for the universities you're going to want to make sure that you've got possibility of getting in so I would say pick two unis above your predicted grades like their um, requirements above your predicted grades. Pick two like on so they're matching and then pick one beneath so it's like that's like your safe option. So you can do that on uni frog and then you've got your five options the last little bit is um changing your course so it's not ideal to change your course like once you've applied but it, it can be done so i actually originally applied for philosophy so i'd done the process like i sent it off i got my offers and everything and then i decided i want to change and i want to do chemistry so um i was really stressed i was like oh my god like i've applied there i've got my offers i can't i can't change it now but it turns out you can, you just email the unis and um, sometimes they change it, sometimes they don't. So I was lucky, all of mine changed it um, and I got my offers for chemistry. So just know it's not the end of the world. You don't, you don't want to do that. You want to be sure on what you're picking because it's, it's really stressful and the unis might say no. But it's not the end of the world if you don't, like if you pick the wrong one. Yeah, so basically just make sure you've done the right amount of research beforehand and make sure it's the course that you want to do and the unis that you like and you're going to be able to deal with like being away from home or being at home and um, everything like that and yeah just you've got time to try and not stress about it like just make sure you're making the right decisions for you don't also don't get pressured into to applying to unis or going to unis just because your friends are going because it's good if your friends are going to the same unis you will also just don't do it for them do it for you so if you're going to like a di like if you like a different uni just apply to that one, it doesn't matter who's applying there or not, just just do it for you. So yeah, thank you so much for um, listening to my advice, I don't know if it helps, I hope it helps, but um, if you need like, anything, if you want to ask questions or anything, you can just email me or 
um, Snapchat me if you have my Snapchat. <laughs> I don't know if, if there's anything you need, you can basically contact me um, and I'll try and help. You almost forgot when you're doing your personal statement, if you search your course um, and then write personal statement online, loads of um, sample ones will come up. So obviously don't copy them, but you can get an idea of how yours is meant to come out. Um, 